Michael said that this is the side you'd like? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I told you I was going to cry like a little baby. In. Do you want somebody to hold your flowers? Or do you want me to put them down, on the, you know, like just on the ground for you during Yeah, that's this? fine. Okay. This is you a very know. informal fun time. <laughs> We're going to have to speak awful loud. Know, Everyone's so far away. I know. Why is it going to say Do you want I don't know. to come closer? Because I feel like I'm they okay can come closer. We just have to watch can, the camera. Okay. They can come closer, yeah. If you guys would like to come a little bit closer. We're loud, but I don't know if we're that loud. <laughs> She has my house. Your mom has them? Yeah. Do you want me to take them now? Just yeah. don't block the camera. Can I have Macy's vows, please? I'm probably the one. Thank you. Yeah, the ring's kind of important. Okay. All right. I think we're good. All right. Why don't you guys join hands? They're covered in tears. I'm sorry. <laughs> this isn't what we talked about. <laughs> this is definitely not what we talked about. <laughs> Welcome. On behalf of Macy and Michael, I would like to thank all of you for being here this afternoon. The most remarkable moment is in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Macy and Michael, that happened almost three years ago when they met and became best friends. I know how deeply they care for and love one another, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. Before we begin, Macy and Michael would like to take a moment to reflect on today's date, June 6th. This is the date that has been a date previously carried with it, an event that changed Macy's life forever. Macy has chosen today, however, to take the date back. She wants to triumph over tragedy and to thank all of you for showing her that she did overcome what happened to her seven years ago today and to share how she found love, her forever love with Michael. Together, they are ready to change June 6th into a happy date, their wedding date, and in the future, June 6th will become their wedding anniversary. Because life is full of the unexpected, there are those close to Michael and Macy who are not able to share the day with us, especially Macy's grandmother. Please join me in a quiet remembrance of those important loved ones and recognize the love and support they have bestowed on Macy and Michael. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, wiping each other's eyes, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive and learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. What this ceremony does is to witness and affirm the choice you make today to stand together as life mates and partners. Today, we will all join my, Macy and Michael in marriage and will celebrate them as they create a new branch of their family tree that will be strengthened and enriched by the love, traditions, and wisdom from each of their family roots. Throughout time, countless people from many cultures, religions and societies have gathered among friends and families to celebrate their love and commitment for one another. Each culture has symbols and rituals to celebrate marriage, from the Chinese tea ceremony to the Jewish tradition of breaking the glass. A rich tapestry of traditions from around the world combine to symbolize the meaning of marriage. Each day we should remember that a wedding is a symbol, a heartfelt and meaningful symbol. The ceremony is not magic. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist or has not already been celebrated in all of the commitments 
Michael and Macy have already made to each other in the days since they first met. What we celebrate today is not the beginning of their marriage, but a marriage already in progress. This ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promises they will continue to make to each other. You will both say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things will never be quite the same between you. For after these vows today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. And nothing is easier than standing here today and saying these words, but yet nothing is more difficult than living them. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way. That is impossible. Yet that is what most of us expect. We forget the ebb and flow of life, of love, and of relationships. We insist on permanence, duration, and continuity. But in love as in life, the only stability is in change, growth, and freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed tomorrow and all the tomorrows after that. Macy, do you promise to love Michael and respect him, to share your life and dreams, to build with him a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? Do you promise to be a companion to Michael in all his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, and to always give him your unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be himself? I do. Michael, do you promise to love Macy and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? And do you promise to be a companion to Macy in all her successes and failures, her happiness and sadness, and to always give her your unwavering support and above all else, the freedom to be herself? I do. Thank you both. Thank you. <laughs> Macy and Michael have written personal wedding vows for each other, and I will now ask them to read them, and we're going to start with Macy. Oh, okay. You, you always said you wanted to marry me first. <laughs> I had the chance to swap it on you, and I didn't. Michael George Reed, my best friend and husband from this day forward. Although this moment isn't exactly as we planned, although I am slightly relieved I'm not in front of 200 people right now, I am so blessed and grateful I finally get to marry my soulmate. Seven years ago today, I was given a second chance at life, and I am so lucky that these days get to be spent by your side and celebrated with our love. I promise to you that I will forever be your peace in the madness, your very best friend, and your partner even in the silliest of crimes. Knowing you and loving you is single-handedly the greatest and funnest thing I have gotten to do in this life. And I cherish every moment knowing I get to do it for the rest of my life. I promise to love you under any circumstance, to guide you through life's challenges, to forever push you towards being a better person, to grow with you, and above all else, I promise to be your absolute biggest fan. You have taught me strength, peace, and finding joy in the most simple of things, and I can't thank you enough for that. You've given me endless opportunities to learn, to grow, and to appreciate every moment of every day. You are truly the most incredible human I've ever had the blessing to know, and I still can't believe I get to call you mine. I vow to inspire you, to laugh with you, to adventure with you, and to most importantly leave the bug catching and spider fiascos to you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I vow to pretend to love Star Wars no matter what, <laughs> to continue to sitting in theaters for three and a half long Marvel movies, even though I have absolutely no idea what's happening, to appreciate your dedication to video games and especially will forever love your child heart that loves Disney just as much as I do. I love you the most, Michael Reed. I love you to infinity and beyond forever and always, no matter what. Here is to a lifetime of happiness, the strongest of friendships, and the sincerest of love. Here is to us. I know I can't kiss you yet, but like... <laughs> Not yet. You gotta wait a minute. Just, just know it's there. <laughs> You want to go ahead and it. I'm stabbing myself on these pins. <laughs> as long as I don't get blood on anything, we're fine. <laughs> Where were we? <clears throat> Macy, when I met you, I had no idea what love was, but I still remember that first spark that started it all when we shared our first kiss after our first date. <laughs> you were yelling at your mom to go away as she started to open the door to your apartment, <laughs> and my heart was just simply beating out of my chest. We shared the smallest, shortest peck on the lips, followed by, of course, me sprinting down the stairs <laughs> saying goodbye, hopped upon adrenaline from how happy I felt. And now, two and a half years later, that moment is still such a cherished memory, and each kiss still makes me feel the same way I did that night. 
Our connection to each other seemed instant, connecting over shared pain from our scars. For the first time in my life, I finally found the one person I felt comfortable in my own skin with. You've taught me to embrace my scars, not hide them, and I truly cannot thank you enough for that. I spent every year since I was a teenager hiding away, concealing my skin from the world out of fear of what people would think. You so effortlessly helped me realize that our scars make us stronger, make us who we are as individuals, and I cannot think of any better day to celebrate that than today. For as long as we both shall live, I promise you I will never stop trying to love you more and more each day. I promise to help support you through any and all goals you place for yourself. I promise to never stop dating you. Just because we're getting married doesn't mean I want to stop planning dates that lead us to restaurants that are already closed when we get there because I forgot to check when they closed. <laughs> I promise to make you laugh every day, even if that means I need to make a fool of myself to do so. I promise to keep gently pushing you to live life to the fullest and to hold your hand through all the ups and downs we may come across. I promise to be your husband, your partner, but most importantly, your best friend. I love you forever and always, to infinity and beyond, no matter what. <laughs> don't know if thing, but you can hold hands. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like holding hands. <laughs> so there you go. Take a good look at each other's hands, so you may see the gift they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend holding yours on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside of yours, as together you build your future. These are the hands that, when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours. Today, you will join your lives in an unbroken circle with these rings. Wherever you go, may you always return to one another in your togetherness. May you find in one another the love for which all men and women yearn. May you grow in understanding and compassion, and may the home which you establish be such a place of sanctuary that all who are here today and others through the years will find their true friends. May these rings, soon to be on your fingers, symbolize the touch of the spirit of love that is in both of your hearts. So Michael, you're going to go first with Macy's ring so you can slip the ring on her finger and then you'll repeat after me. With this ring, I give to you my promise. With this ring, I give to you my promise. That from this day forward, from this day forward, you will not walk alone. You will not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved, for indeed you are. May you feel deeply loved, for indeed you are. Excellent, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna need a hand here. That is okay. Now, Macy, you can slip the ring on Michael's finger, and then you are going to repeat after me. With this ring, I give to you my promise. With this ring, I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You will not walk alone. You will not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May we walk together through all things. May you feel deeply loved, for indeed you are. <laughs> May you feel deeply loved, for indeed you are. Okay, now continue to hold hands. To make your relationship work will take love. Continue to date each other. You already know that. <laughs> take time to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to each other and to learn and grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. Macy and Michael, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you have just made. It is with these in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the newlyweds, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Michael Reed. <laughs> now you can go. Thank you. You're very welcome. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> cool. We're just going to keep walking. <laughs> this is a very informal part of the ceremony. We can spin. Great job, guys. Uh oh. Wait, we have to do it again. <laughs> okay. <Wee. laughs> 
Can you tell we didn't practice this part? 